This is a quick orientation to the latest version of Qt FTP, which is version 9. As you can see, we're launching here at the desktop and bringing up the tip of the day, which you can have every time you open your program, or you can simply opt out. Qt FTP is an FTP client that supports various FTP protocols. Whether it's FTP, which is FTP clear, FTPS, which is over SSL, or secure FTP, which is FTP over SSH. It also supports HTTP and HTTPS for web directories, and now it supports WebDAV as well. The main thing here is that Qt FTP 9 supports TAP-in integration. TAP-in is a way to get access to data on other machines that you have a TAP-in agent running on. In this case, we have a TAP-in client running to connect to a server. So when I log in here, it's going to show me that directory for that specific share, and then also any files inside of that share. TAP-IN is the agent that you install on your local desktop, on your home computer, or even a corporate network server. It allows you to access your network resources straight from the internet. From the browser interface, I can log into here and make another folder available. And from here, I can select the folder or drive on this local machine. It will ask which folder I want to share out. We can choose any folder on this system that we have access to. We will choose one of these test folders, for example, scan documents. Once you've added the scan documents directory, we will see the directory on the left side. We can go in and it will show me all the files and images in that directory. Now that they're on here, I can also go into the browser interface and any web browser, and I can launch and get into the same system by going into tapin.com and logging into the web application. Now from any browser and network computer, I can get into the same files that are on the machine without having to poke any holes in the firewall or do any configuration to the firewall settings to get access. This makes interface and setup easy. I can also get these files from my mobile device. Tappin supports various mobile devices from Windows mobile devices, iPads, and iPhones, and Android devices. The agent can also be installed on Linux and Macintosh systems. With Qt FTP 9, I can access the same files and servers through this interface by installing or setting up the Tappin site. Now I can see the scanned documents here as well. Now, with Qt FTP and TAPIN, you can consolidate all of your connections and networks into one single interface. Why choose Qt FTP? One reason is security. Other applications out there store your account information unencrypted and in insecure formats. Qt FTP never stores your account information in plain text and even provides a mechanism to completely encrypt your data manager so that users can't grab files and begin to attack your system. You can change that password and remove that security as needed. It's also easy to use. Your site manager has one clean and simple to use interface to be able to edit or modify any of your site managers and connect to any of your servers in one simple interface. So I can connect to all of these sites here in a tab form and be able to switch back and forth between them. Qt FTP also provides a built-in scheduler, so if you need to download or upload files on a regular basis, you can go into the system here and upload a file on a scheduled basis at a time that's needed. It's also available here in an easy-to-use interface in the wizard. It can schedule when it happens, how often, and on what days. When it's finished, you have a notification at the bottom and the scheduler down here at the bottom for the queue. There's also PGP encryption. Qt FTP 9 provides the ability to encrypt and decrypt files as needed. If I need to upload the file and encrypt it, I can use the PGP method. It will send the file pre-encrypted onto the system. If I need to download a file that's been encrypted on the other end, I can download the same file and decrypt it. You can see the file here at the bottom. Qt FTP 9 now supports TAPIN. 
If you're familiar with Tappan, you can now integrate Support Site Manager functionality into Qt FTP and be able to access those Tappan sites from Qt FTP. That interface is also easy to use. To create a new Tappan site, I can go into the new Tappan site and define my credentials. Once I'm in it, it will show me all the tap-in shares I'm able to manage and access. From there, I'll be able to upload and download files to those tap-in shares.